Welcome to the Women in Leadership Body, Mind, Soul, and Business podcast weekly reading. I'm Charlie. We are currently reading The Path of the Yoga Sutras by Nikolai Bachman. And this week we are on chapter 24. Raga, clinging to past pleasure. Wherever you will be attached, there you will go. Kerpal Singh. When we have an experience that is pleasurable, it is natural to desire it again. An attachment is formed. If the desire cannot be fulfilled, causing you pain or discomfort, then Radha has manifested in us. This suffering, dukkha, is happening because we are attached to a previously experienced pleasure. If we can let go of this attachment, then we can avoid the associated suffering. Raga is one of the most powerful causes of suffering, and therefore one of the most difficult causes to weaken and overcome. It contains within it the fear of not experiencing something again. The word raga can mean coloring, and an experience can color or leave a stain in our psyche. Raga can arise due to any sensory or emotional attachment just as certain colors attract our eyes again and again. Sensory pleasures can attract our attention repeatedly until we form an attachment to them. A raga is also like a musical mode that steers our mood, seducing our consciousness into its emotional zone. When we experience a pleasurable event, a memory is created, one that colors our heart-mind by making us desire that experience again. Each time we repeat the event, the memory is strengthened. The more intense the pleasure, the stronger the memory. This memory can create a habit or addiction, a pleasure stain that remains and influences future action. Our habits or attachments may be stronger than we realize, and they can involve our senses and emotions. For example, a sweet tooth seems mild, yet an attachment to eating sweets can be a very tough attachment to overcome. It can prevent a well-intended weight loss by causing us to eat high calorie sweets that negate the effects of other dietary improvements. The scent of a cologne, perfume, or essential oil can create attraction, as can simply seeing a beautiful person. Hearing our harmonious melody or angelic voice makes us want to hear more of it. Receiving an extraordinary massage or being touched in a powerful way forms a visceral memory that fuels our desire to feel that touch again. Strong habits and addictions are even harder to break. An addiction to narcotics or alcohol can cause all kinds of pain and suffering for us and those around us. Behavioral patterns, such as attracting the same kind of personality for a friendship, relationship, even though we know that this type of personality is not healthy for us to be around, can also be addictive. Habitual patterns of behavior, samskaras, are formed by raga more than any other klesha. Raga is a third klesha and is somewhat parallel to the Devesha, the fourth klesha. Both are emotional triggers based on clinging to a past experience. Reducing our involvement with external things, viryaga, counteracts both raga and devesha. Practicing the tools of kira yoga weakens raga and the other psycho-emotional kleshas. For example, you just ended a passionate but unfulfilling and unhealthy relationship in which you experienced both intense pleasure and pain. It is hard to let go of those experiences and move on with your life. Because the relationship lasted so long, the impressions had time to develop deep patterns in your consciousness, some scars, which can pull you back into the relationship. Despite your mind telling you that going back is not a good idea, it is much more difficult to resist raga and stay away from the person that it is to submit to raga and return to the intense pleasure. 
We can apply Kira Yoga in this situation to weaken Raga. When we muster the strength to break away from the easy road of following our long-standing tendencies, and we instead listen to our inner voice telling us not to return to the past and to move ahead with our life, then tapas is happening. Resisting a powerful habit can be difficult and uncomfortable. Svadvaya, or self-observation, allows us to observe our emotions from a distance and listen to the advice of friends and family. Ishvara Pranadana is the letting go of this unhealthy relationship and having faith that life will be okay without it. Desire is fine as long as we are not attached to its fulfillment. If not being able to reenact a pleasurable experience as success, then raga has been activated. Desire is like a fire. It is always burning. And the satisfaction of desires, like the result of any action, must be let go. Our outer wants and ambitious change over time, part of the continuous flux of the universe. Turning our attention inward and experiencing our inner light of awareness naturally diminishes outer desires and cultivates their yaga. Wishing to become better people and improve our lives is healthy and necessary for moving forward on our journey. Thoughts. The need to re-experience an enjoyable event is a source of suffering. Past experiences can color present and future thoughts, words, and deeds. If I cannot have what I want, I will let go of it and move on. Exercises. To feel how difficult letting go of a seemingly mild attachment can be, try and abstain from one of your favorite foods for a while. Think of a romantic relationship that you wanted to end, but that kept drawing you back in. What made you return? How can you prevent it from pulling you back in again in the future? Have a piece of chocolate. See if you can stop there and not enjoy another piece. Thank you for joining us today on this week's weekly reading. Come and join the discussion and find all the details for the podcast amongst so much more on our website at www.womeninleadershipbsmb.com. Thank you for joining us. Namaste.